At home, card-carrying books and gifts bookstore in Corning hosted a donation drive yesterday. WEMI's Dan Bourbon was at that event and has a recap of what went down. Good morning, Dan. That's right, guys. Good morning, too. Well, the event was called Kindness Rocks, where many got the chance to eat some good food and paint rocks that will eventually be displayed at the Stupend County Library. Being a part of helping people is really important to us, and um, spreading joy through the community is really important. Yesterday afternoon, Card Carrying Books and Gifts, located on Market Street in downtown Corning, hosted a donation drive called Kindness Rocks. Many came together to enjoy an afternoon of painting and snacking for a good cause. Co-host of the event, M. Kenyon, lost her father 10 years ago. By hosting this event, the bookstore aimed to promote kindness and to remember M's dad or a loved one this time of year. The rocks are all going to have messages on it for people who are struggling this time of year. And then we also um, are taking donations today and for the rest of the week for women and other people who are displaced out of their homes for whatever reason. Kids, parents and others enjoyed making memories by sharing their messages to their loved ones through the art of painting. I like painting. My favorite subject is art. Um, I made a unicorn because I really love magic and how they have magic. The experience looked too enticing, so I decided to give it a try as well. Card carrying books and gifts is accepting donated items whenever you would like to drop off something. So we're looking mostly for like sanitary items, um, any kind of, you know, toothbrushes, toothpaste, soap, menstrual products, uh, clothes, gloves, hats, anything that anyone can use at this time of the year. And if you'd like to donate to Card Carrying Books and Gifts, the bookstore is located on East Market Street in Corning. They're open Tuesday through Saturday, 12 p.m. to 6, and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Guys, we'll send it back to you. Dan, thank you. Well, after